What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's episode is on the company van. We're finally gonna wrap it. So stay tuned. <laughs> So in this video we're gonna wrap the van and uh, one of my boys from Ghost Wrapping is gonna install it. So we're gonna start off by taking off the handles. So technically speaking now that I'm looking at it, I didn't have to take off the door panel. Um, we actually come over here and it was a it was a 220, 220 screw. And here it's actually still in there actually stayed lodged and this piece comes off the handle literally slides right or uh, left and pops out the same thing with this one but in this case the sliding door one it's that one right there price just see yep this one was a different torque screw it was actually a t30 and then um once you loosen that up this was the, the piece that comes off and the handle it goes in like that like that so it literally slides and you took it off very easy make sure you don't lose a gasket um i cleaned it up and then i'm actually gonna put the door panel back on because uh you kind of don't need it to wrap um he's probably just gonna go over so here um before this i did clean the van i did do a, a clay bar on it and uh so uh, right now it's like super smooth it's never been this smooth and since i got it <laughs> um as you can tell it's really dirty surprise colors in there you guys won't know the color until i put it on probably until it's done and then also have a surprise regarding this i think i mentioned it before um, overall, the truck is going to look very, very, very cool. All right, so I started taking this side off, the panels. Half of the clips broke, but it turns out Juan told me that I didn't really have to take it off because he could tuck it in between the trims. There's enough space to tuck it in. So I technically broke off it for no reason. Um, to make it easier for him, my door handles, I took these off. It's three clips also and then the headlights just to make it easier and the hood vents now i'm coming here taking off the the emblem and the color we're gonna wrap the van is sad black Ooh. this is juan What's going on? ghost wraps uh yeah we decided we satin black just because it'll go with the wheels the lights it'll go with everything better and then once we're done i'm gonna rhino line this bottom part and it'll look aggressive so yeah i'll take you guys along while we get this wrapped you'd be surprised All right, so, so far, he did fender, the hood, yeah, that's good. The hood is done, we jump to this side. Um, he, we already did this side right here, he has, he has it covered. He's doing the inlay, basically, on the window cutout, just like so it's fit flush and it doesn't lift. Um, yeah, so we took the headlights out, all that stuff, handles, just to help him uh, be able to do it. We took the tail lights out. Right now, when he wraps this side, he's gonna fold it in. I did a video on how to take those out. You can check that out in the videos of mine. Um, pretty much, we're probably gonna do one more panel. Uh, it's up to him. We'll call it a day, but. For one, uh, four hours, 
pretty good. All right, so this is day number two. I ended up taking off the awning just so we could get that spot better. And I started painting the hinges. So once it's wrapped, actually I'll just show it from this side. Once it's wrapped, looks good. We're gonna right align this bottom part. Uh, also that part under, we're gonna right align. Um, this came out really good. We were worried about this little part in here. It's actually really good. Same thing on this. I would say half of the van is already wrapped. I actually did this by myself. Came out pretty good. First time. Or third time. Door is good. He just did it. He's doing fender right now. The front is already done. And this fender is done. So we're just missing mostly this part of the car. Um, it's eight hours or two hours in already. So not about 10 hours. Not bad. And um, yeah, it's coming out really nice. So while he's doing the rest of the vinyl, I'm actually prepping the sides that are already wrapped for ceramic coating. So then basically I got an Adams kit. Right now I just did the surface prep, so it's like clean to clean it basically. So let me just finish cleaning here and I'll show you the kit. Don't judge me. This is my first time ceramic coating. So basically, this is a surface prep, so it's cleaning the, the surface from contamin contaminants. That looks like it's clean. Oh, the awning's in the way. That's clean. So it gives you a towel. The first step was surface prep. The next step is with the little thing, you put the little graphene coating. Graphene coating. And then you basically just put it on. I'll put a clip on how I did it on the, on the hood. And then I did the bumper already too. And then basically, I don't know if this is right. Again, don't judge me. You see the hue of blue, the ceramic tint on the actual vinyl. But during the day, you don't. So this is a UV light. It actually included it in. Included it. So you see? So you see how I overpassed a little bit there? So I'll do that now. All right, that guy, he did it. Two days, he wrapped it. It's currently two in the morning. Everything is wrapped. So again, that down there, I broke clips. So I'm waiting for them to come in, but that bottom part will all be rhino lined. It looks badass. Um, like I painted the thing. So then now, it's ceramic coated, we're let it cure. All right, here it is all done and wrapped. And it's actually ceramic coated also. So again, this is a little ugly we're gonna do later on. We're gonna rhino line it. For now, for now it looks good. Only bad thing is you actually see all the dents on the car. Still gotta paint the hinges. So we're not done, this is just part one. But it's looking really good. See how I look at this? It looks mate on this side. 
and no glass in this thing. I love it. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. This was like a weekend thing that we did with ghost wraps. Um, very happy with the results. We're still not done with the makeover on the outside. So next video is gonna be in that rhino line that we were talking about. And we're probably gonna spray in those, uh, those hinges just to make them perfect and all blacked out look. So once again, guys, thank you for all the support. Stay to the next one now.